Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at the Norman Manley International Airport. Today is an historical day because 50 years ago, on April 21st, 1966, His Imperial Majesty came to Jamaica. When he came to Jamaica in 1966, it was three years before the wicked act on Rastafari and the Coral, Bar, uh, the Coral Garden Massacre. His Imperial Majesty came three years later in 1966. Today is the 21st of April, 50 years later. And ladies and gentlemen, I just want to tell you this. April 21st in 1966 falls on a Thursday. Today, 50 years later, is also a Thursday, which means His Imperial Majesty's visit in his grandson, which is him, coming to Jamaica at this time, 50 years later to the date and day, is indeed an historical event. I'm here with priest uh, Dermot Fagan from the Isla Selassie High School of Vision. Bible study, prophecy, and Sabbath worship. Good morning, sir. How you feel today April 21st, 2016, exactly 50 years to the day. Well, actually speaking for myself, I regard it as a commemoration in mm. effect for 50 years ago when that when the Lion of Judah entered Jamaica. I was 12 years old at that wow. time. So wow. speaking for myself, at that age, tender age of 12 years old, I remember that day it was the most busiest day in the history of Jamaica and what I saw with my two eyes when the emperor came out of the airplane standing on the airstep, uh, uh, the airplane step, I saw a sash across his chest and the titles were King of Kings, Lord of Lords and at that time it did not bear so much relevance as it, it is obvious now that mm. in, in his coming and the title that was revealed King of Kings and Lord of Lords we get to realize that it was a prophetical manifestation in accordance to 1st Timothy chapter 6 in the Bible verses 13, 14 and 15 I give thee charge in the sight of God who quickened all things and before Christ Jesus Christus who before Pontius Pilate witness a good confession that thou keepest the commandments without spots and rebukable until the appearing for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christus which in his times he shall show who is the blessed and only potent King of Kings Lord of Lords. So that scripture is so relevant mm. to me to show that there is no other crown, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, except the Emperor Haile Selassie first. So today, it galvanized our interest mm -hmm. into coming out in diverse mansions. Actually, School of Vision is one of the members of the Millennium Council, which is right. the proper collective representation for all mansions. Men. So today, we rejoice in that advent marking 50 years of his um, coming to Jamaica. I personally could not miss this for the world because when his Imperial Majesty came here in 1966, I was only nine years old. <laughs> so today I could not have missed it for the world to see the grandson of his Imperial Majesty. It's like you're seeing the Imperial Majesty himself. I'm a little bit taken back though, uh, Dermot Fagan, about the amount of Rastafarians true hardcore Rastafarian that has been fighting the struggle, that has been so humiliated. They should have come out here now at this particular time in thousands. Mm -hmm. Because like the father, likewise the son as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Mm -hmm. Well actually, I am optimistic mm -hmm. that before the day is over and before the entourage actually move from the airport. Yes, the, we the, shall the, see. The, the Rastas will come. Yeah, man. The Rastas will come because we have great respect we worship the emperor and we have great respect which we retain for the royal family equivalent to the to the royal um, ambitions of the captive crown so we will give recognition to the royal seed of david yes another thing also at a time like this when our crime rate is so high what kind of message do you think the grandson of his imperial majesty will bring to us in this so wicked time that we're experiencing? Politically speaking, I don't know if he has enough information mm. to make a statement towards the criminality of our country and the societies. 
I don't know if he's sensitized. Like I said earlier on, we do a political interest. So we will, we will hope and see how we address himself. Into it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here speaking with my brother, Priest Dermot Fagan, part of the Rastafari and Eilid Selassie. It's a long uh, 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 title, so I don't remember it in depth. School of Vision. Will, will, will His Imperial Majesty's grandson visit the School of Vision? That um, is Imperial Majesty left for us. Well, actually, I think that is a part of his tour to, uh, tomorrow, Friday. You see, the Millennium Council is chaired by Sister Mitzi. Okay. And I think she would have more information on so that. She's up here in discussions. Yes, in terms and of that itinerary. I've heard, I think tomorrow he will visit um, his, father, his grandfather's school. Do you think you'll get a chance to touch and be with the Crown Prince today? Well, actually, I don't exact myself, but even I'm familiar with Prince Darwin. Mm -hmm. and his granddaughter came here recently. Another, and I have met her, so I am optimistic, optimistic that of course. The opportunity will avail itself. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. I'm speaking with my brother, priest Dermot Fagan, and he's here early with all of his family members to meet and greet the grandson of his Imperial Majesty, Prince Hermias Saleh Selassie. So it is a wonderful, wonderful experience. Thank you very much for talking to me. And I will, my name is Claude Sinclair, but they call me Big Stone. Big Stone. Yeah. <laughs> so I will be talking to you yes, momentarily as the day progresses. Thanks for the opportunity. And we thank you very much, okay? You're welcome. You're welcome, Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. But I just want to hear from some of the brothers here after speaking with my brother, priest Dermot Fagan. How are you this morning, my brother? Uh, great, great. What's your name? Uh, Big Stone. Jesus Jackson. What are you feeling coming here today? Just let me hear your feel. You was at Scott Park from last night. And you're here. Come in. Well, we, we, we await them and to show the world how powerful Rastafari is. We give thanks, my brother. Come on down, let's talk to somebody else. Yeah, yeah, shy. Greetings, my brother. Greetings. How are you? What's the speech to you in one minute? What's your name, my brother? Jesse. I'm here with my own uh, channel, Big Stone Records, and we're here to captivate the moment because, you know, modern television might not tell the truth as to what transpired on this day. So we are here to help expose the realness of this visit 50 years later since his, his, his Imperial Majesty came to Jamaica. So we're very, we're very thrilled. What are your feelings, first of all? How old were you at the time when his Imperial Majesty came? About seven years old. And uh, how are you feeling today, 50 years later, now that you are Rastafarian in full? How do you feel? Great, you know? Great. 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 You know that. You know? Our father, Zia, is coming. How far are you coming from? Mount. I just want an idea so I can tell the people you travel 10 miles, 50 miles. The mountain like here, which mountain? Newcastle. Oh, Newcastle. So that's quite some distance, ladies and gentlemen. For him to leave all the way from Newcastle and to get here before 10 o'clock this morning shows you the kind of respect and honor and love and unity that the Rastafarian movement of Jamaica has. Unlike in 1963 when Bustamante ordered that all Rastafarians must be jailed and whoever cannot fit in the jail Bog Hill will fit them, which Bog Hill, as you know, is a cemetery. Rastafari has come a long way. They've grown in strength and strength till the culture of Rastafari is used by the tourism. Remember, they used to lock you up for a spliff. They display Bob Marley and all over the world with one of the biggest spliff you can ever think of. So Rastafari, ladies and gentlemen, have come a long way. Let's go talk to some more brothers down here. Let's see a young man. How you doing, my brother? Big stone, how you doing? What's your name? Selassie. Oh, so you're a Dermot Fagan's son. It is an honor to talk to you. We see the father and we see the son. It is powerful. What are your thoughts now? I mean, your father is such a powerful figure in the movements of Rastafari, and I know you must have inculcated the great wisdom because your father is a very wise individual. 
Yes. How are you feeling this morning on this day? First, <laughs> let, me, let me present myself mm -hmm. um, as a Rasta youth that born, Rasta youth that born, look, look up on the king as a god and a savior for me. Yeah. As a young youth going through a lot of tribulation right now. Yeah. But let me say this that the people may hear. You know, I'm feeling very overwhelmed to be here. Mm. You know, as a young man growing up as a Rasta, you know, I don't, I can't explain how the feeling is right now. So you're able, and you will be able to tell your grandchildren and your great grandchildren about this day. Of course, man. I can't forget this day. Selassie, big up. Selassie Fagan. This is the son of Dermot Fagan, the priest I just spoke to. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. I love this My name is Big Stone. I'm a record producer. I'm also a motivational speaker. I'm responsible for influencing youngsters like Nesbeth. Remember Nesbeth, he has a big song, My Dreams Now. Well, wait a minute. There's something about me you must understand that we can make I am what you call a part of the country. I am living in England from 1960 up until the night. So, as far as I can tell you about Rasta, I have learned from from all the other brethren. That man, the German Brother German Fagan, yeah. so I really can't commit, commit on the long time ago, Rasta, when we talk about you know, So you were, were you actually living in England or are you living in Jamaica now? I just want to know if you I live, I live, I live where the priest live now. That's oh, you live where the priest live now? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I just wanted to work to have known if you actually left England for this day. Did you get us where I'm coming from? No, 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 no. Okay, no, so you live 